What is up everybody, Dak here, and today is a big day. It is start of Folded Horn Series, yeah, Series 2. We are making another one. There's the first one right there. It still works, nothing's wrong with it. Don't worry, it's just got its gob facing up in the air so it can catch bugs that fall down from the lights. I need to tip this thing out. Here is a flat package folded horn straight from Ikea down in a pine tree thing in probably a bit west down south in Australia. We have here wood 217, 221 and 29 MDF. Uh, this is the ingredients. I'm going to be using these two sheets of 17. What is different about this horn is it is not going to be made the exact same way as that one as that one took about eight years to produce. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, uh, in here, this horn features uh, curves, nice big curves. Uh, these two curves right here and here, that's a cylinder of PVC, which I do have more of, it's that one right there. And down the back are those nice curves with diameter 15 centimeters, which I also have uh, just the right amount for right there. But I am not going to be using them. Oh, no. I am not going to be using any PVC. Uh, I'm not going to be curving. I'm not going to be doing any curves whatsoever. Chances are, if you fold, uh, if you search uh, folded horn on Google Images, what you'll come across is a bunch of things, and their corners are 45s. They do not have curves. The first horn. As it was a folded representation of a linear horn, as in uh, horn, horn resp only really does linear horns from what I've seen so far. So I tried to keep the expansion as close and as accurate to the software as possible, and that's why the curves were necessary. This time I'm going to be cutting 45s instead of the curves in order to hopefully make the manufacture process uh, faster, cheaper, more reliable, straightforward, simpler, um, less, yeah, uh, better. So what I'm going to be doing is now I'm going to be starting off uh, very similar to this one. And I think I'm going to follow mainly the same process, which was with this one. First, I put on the bottom, which was a sheet of wood buzzer. Then I... <laughs> put on the back and then I think I put on the big bit on the inside and then I added the sides and the internals I can't remember exactly this one is going to be different in the fact that it's not going to be as pretty I'm sorry it's not going to be as pretty 45 sign as pretty as this huge curve it's probably not going to have the the white ceiling paint when I say ceiling I mean it is literal root like inside of roof paint not as in it seals stuff, but it worked to kind of seal and defibrate, is that a term, uh, the, in, the wood on the inside, so I sanded it and painted it. Uh, this is going, this frame on the outside is going. One of the things I didn't want to compromise about this box is, and yeah, I'm too, I'm, I don't have anywhere to put this, is part on the outside was served two purposes, one to toughen it, and two, uh, it had a resonance, if you remember, uh, I didn't want to brace between these two points here as it ruined the aesthetic of the horn. This one, bugger it. So, yeah, that's basically the idea of the new one. The new one is designed to be built quickly and uh, using fewer processes. For example, uh, I believe those two bits of PVC didn't have the right diameter and I had to heat them up and expand them out. Uh, or maybe that was the ones on the inside. One of them needed expanding, and I'm just, I'm gonna be skipping all that and replacing it with 45s. Now this time I have access to, I didn't have the miter saw at the beginning. I've also got this, uh, just a small table saw, which uh, the two sheets of 21 are for another sub box, and I wanna build a table too. And if I build a table, this thing I'm going to integrate into it uh, somehow. Uh, driver wise too, I'm going to have to take the driver out of this one. I want to make a new box for the Mazda 2. Uh, just being lazy, 
Uh, I don't want to start that box till I order the um, audio control uh, LC R1. I can't remember. Yeah, line converter, fancy one that boosts the boosts the bass. So I need to get that before I can make the new box. Otherwise, there's no point because even the horn, even the horn which cuts off at 40 hertz, I can hear the cars roll off it's quite distracting and the horns the only box i've had in it apart from that unit right there which yeah same same thing cut off like 35 had nothing so hopefully uh yeah this one did take me ages to make and i just i don't want to do that again also some things that i don't like about it personally is there is quite a bit of space in here which is void or expanding foam uh this new one too i'm not going to be using any fiberglass any expanding foam maybe a bit if i have to but i really want to keep it just wood and glue and for bits that are removable up here screws and i suppose other bits screws too but i want to keep it as simple as possible as few exotic parts a bit of bog too but not Hopefully not a lot, just one tin of bog will hopefully do the whole thing. If the cuts are accurate, they should mate properly, but with things like here, that bit of um, DVC pipe, you can see it maybe down the bottom. It sticks out a bit, and I had to bog all that. It doesn't seem to have affected the sound, but it's just things I want to avoid. But anyway, uh, first things first, I need to get one of those sheets of wood down, laid on this bench, and cut it. I uh, could use the table saw, maybe... Although I really want to be accurate, um, I don't want to have to belt sand anything either. I just want to do the straight cuts and uh, with those boxes right there, those ones, oh, oh bastards. Um, this, either this box or the last one, um, still not finished, really haven't been bothered yet. Uh, with those ones I cut very carefully and they still came out with huge inaccuracies. I cut extremely, I blame that, but I blame this thing right here, <laughs> I blame you, so anyway, uh, I want to, um, I'm thinking, I know this isn't like a particularly fancy table saw, but table saws get expensive, like 2000 and I think I'd rather just integrate that with two rulers into a sheet of plywood as a bench. And just clamp it and stuff to run sheets through then uh, spend two thousand dollars right now but i'm very tempted to spend between six hundred and one thousand dollars on a track saw now i do know that track saws are cheaper than 600 to a thousand australian which is like 450 to 750 us but i don't want to get a cheap one i want to get a reasonably good one that will last I know this saw's been alright, this saw's been a champion, it's cut, we've cut a ton of railway sleepers in half with it, top and bottom, and split them in the middle. Uh, something else too is, uh, you can see that tube right there of PVC, uh, one thing I didn't like about it is that's about 18 litres, when I put the sub in it which had a displacement of 6 litres, it left 12 litres, which is not a lot of airspace uh, to breathe or to really it was providing probably too much uh, additional stiffness to the driver uh, the simulation say it'll go lower just by increasing the volume of that so that's why this time in the next box it's actually going to bulk out more and come back in because inside here since it's not PVC pipe it's going to end up being the void inside the box and I'll hopefully get closer to about 40 or 50 litres which will help the sub cool itself and help with the lows a bit and should hopefully just improve the efficiency of the box in general maybe make it a bit lighter too who knows all right we'll see now i've got to cover the mouth this before i start cutting otherwise uh the sawdust will get into and this thing's already going to be annoying because when i tip it over to throw it out half the bugs are going to go back up and in yeah all right so here's an update i'm at the end of equivalent of day three unfortunately got sidetracked by well a lot of stuff so, to put it lightly, um, so this is probably about eh, two weeks later. I've done two half days because I just kind of did what I could. So two full days, two half days, uh, three full days. Uh, 
what I've got is I've got the template, which you can see right there. Uh, these two panels are cut here. This is this represents one of the sides. I've got the other pair for the sides right there. I've also got the two sides of the box there and there. Uh, that's the rear. So now all the major panels of the box are cut. Uh, bottom, top, side, side, rear, one, two, three, four. And yeah, just to be clear, uh, if you can't tell by this fibrous effect, uh, this has been sanded. So I cut it at a 45 and then belt sanded it down to get to the angle of about 22.5, what it was, about 30. What I've got to do now, I've got to cut these two ones that go here and here. Then I've got to cut the 45s there, 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 there. I've also got to cut some angles for inside that bit. And I've got to cut 45, 45, 45, 45, and then I think I might, not sure what I'm doing in the middle yet. Uh, the biggest single sheet left to cut is going to be uh, probably this sheet here. Although now that I look at it, probably those ones are going to be bigger, but this one's going to be wider. Uh, this is the very edge of a 12, by the way. This mark out here is, I think, roughly the size of the driver in there, although see it's actually quite a bit smaller and you take off a few mil uh, due to the thickness of the rubber on the edge of the gasket. In terms of the scrap wood, in terms of leftover material, I've, well I've got those bits down there which are all 60 centimeters wide so they'll be used for the corners and so that's not a lot, that's I think 1.2 so it's roughly a 60, a le like 58 by 58 centimeters square there and probably about a 50 2 by 1.2 meter so fairly material efficient so far but as I mentioned before uh, it's not going to have the looks that the other one had that's the compromise I might construct the back which means uh, 240, uh, 445, 6, 8, 45s, 9, 10, 45s yeah there's a lot of 45s in this one now but I think that's going to do it for part 1 uh, subscribe more like if you enjoyed see ya